To top it all off, I found out that this guy was her first love, a relationship that ended supposedly badly. She told me after coming back from the wedding when I confronted her about her behavior that she was confused about us when she saw him after so many years. Welcome to the Hollet Halls of Magic's Monologue. I'm Magic, your curator of personal growth and the sage keeper of today's home of wisdom and knowledge. Today's video, I found out less than a week after my honeymoon that my wife has been cheating on me. But before embarking on an expedition through the vast collections of life's lessons and bad choices, demonstrate your eagerness with a thumbs up, subscribe, and smack that bell like a victory bell signaling success to become a patron of wisdom. So stow your baggage of doubts, grab a ticket to success, and let's enjoy this ride together. I want to thank Zoran for sending this to me. I, male, 29, find out right after the honeymoon that my wife, female, 28, cheated. I've been with my wife for four and a half years and married for three months now. Just find out she's been cheating on me with the son of a family friend. I remember two years into dating, she started being distant. And I suspected it had something to do with him, but she somehow convinced me there was nothing going on. Slap to the back of the head. How many times have I said, guys, follow your instincts. Don't let it fester. Let's be clear. I'm not justifying paranoia. However, I am saying pull a Ronald Reagan, which is trust, but verify. In this case, he didn't trust himself not to allow himself to be gaslighted into thinking he was crazy. Even though he put in four years to get to know her, it's part of an overall process, not a singular guarantee. In hindsight, I remember that she treated me like crap for three months during that time when she was sleeping with him multiple times a week. This was during a family wedding of hers in our home country. We moved abroad and had been living together on different continent for a year by this point, which he and his family, even my parents, were also invited to while I was at home waiting for her. Okay, hold up. Guys, this is why I tell you to always look at her family. Examine the relationship her parents have. How does her mother treat her dad? How does her dad treat her mother? And does her dad lead the family? Or is he a happy wife, happy life, beta bitch, provider, and she rules the roost? Get straight with this, my brothers. Do you want to see your future? Look at her mom, because she's the role model. If you are her or her family's second choice, you will be fornicated in the long run, because they will enable her worst tendencies, if not outright sabotage your relationship. Then, if there are any kids involved, they will back up her lies to any authority to gain any advantage in the divorce. And before you say, not my girl, stow it. Divorce men's support groups are full of men who said the same thing. To top it all off, I found out that this guy was her first love, a relationship that supposedly ended badly. She told me after coming back from the wedding when I confronted her about her behavior that she was confused about us 
when she saw him after so many years. She told me that nothing happened between them, except that they would talk and she used the opportunity to find closure. My dumbass believed it because I naively thought she wouldn't risk it all as her family loved us together and knew about their past and wouldn't suspect anything. Suspicious and thought she wouldn't risk it after all we've made big moves like coming, moving together in another country to improve our lives. Slap to the back of the head. If you think she is cheating, never confront her until you have irrefutable evidence or enough to satisfy a divorce lawyer. Even then, under ideal conditions, don't do it. Let her find out when she is served after you have changed the locks, canceled the credit cards, secured financial accounts, and do all of the stuff your lawyer says you should do. Be like Sun Tzu. Play chess, not checkers. Play to win, because she will, and the deck, it's stacked in her favor. This is also what we call an alpha widow, and solid confirmation you were the guy she settled for. And in the runner-up game show prize, they like to give the losers. I know all her exes by name, except him. Gee, did you all catch that? So there has been a deliberate effort to manipulate and deceive from the very beginning. I'm also annoyed because her family knows their history and keeps him close, hiding this from me. I suppose they didn't want to set boundaries when I came into the picture, first as a boyfriend, then as a man who lives together with, with her, then fiancé, and now husband. Slap to the back of the head. Stop making excuses for these people. You were and her family's second choice. And I bet you make more money than that alpha Chad they do so deeply love. All of this was confessed through a rigorous trickle-truthing process over three months when I found the messages inviting him over while I was abroad for work. She specifically mentions me by my initials and that I'm not in town. This was less than a week after our honeymoon and three days after I left for my trip. To give further background, the wife and I grew up together and have known each other for close to 20 years. Our families were also close before we got married not to the extent of the AP's family, but our parents have known each other and have been good friends even before we were born. Okay, this is just messed up, even from the parents' perspective. Update. I kicked her out a couple of hours after my original post, then she returned. That post wasn't to seek advice and didn't influence my decision. I had made up my mind days ago, probably the day I found out months back, if I'm going to be honest with myself, but dragged it out this long. Her and I had a four to five day trip already planned before I found out. And two days after kicking her out, I'm on that trip enjoying myself. My brother will be coming along in a bit too. I had a good talk with my dad before and the trip and he gave me tips, advice, and pointers as to divorce from as as he is also divorced from my mom. Basically, he wants me to work on picking up the pieces, to stay away from alcohol and women for a bit, and he also gifted me with a one year gym membership. Alright, good for dad. He's glad this happened as early as it did before kids, finances, 
and housing were entangling us. At the same time, he's also said this happened as early as it did too, because after coming back from my trip and finding out, I've literally only had half a day of a happy marriage. Wow, I am so sorry for you, brother. I'm now heading over for an afternoon trek in the jungle before my brother's arrival. Okay, your dad is correct, and you should take his advice. You dodged a major bullet, and I would suggest a little therapy to dig out of your psyche why you were attracted to this woman like this in the first place. This way, you don't repeat such a failed attraction strategy. As I pointed out, you were always her second choice, and her family enabled her deception and delusion. By the way, I should probably do the following disclosure. I am not a professional, and this is in no way to be taken as a diagnosis, as it is my personal opinions and life observations, and is for entertainment purposes only. It seems to me your wife has unresolved attachment issues, which is often referred to as being an alpha widow and led to a pattern of seeking emotional validation outside her marriage. Her behavior could be indicative of an avoidant or amb ambivalent attachment style. When she distanced herself emotionally and physically from you during the periods of stress or confusion, as seen, she treated you badly or poorly and became distant during the wedding. Then I noticed her seeking admiration and validation from her ex, along with the manipulation of your trust, could point to narcissistic traits. If I recall, such people seem to seek, oh wait, what is it? External validation and may struggle with empathy and genuine emotional intimacy. Yet, the intensity of her emotions and the unstable interpersonal relationships, fear of abandonment, and the impulsive behaviors, this could make one think she might have borderline personality disorder, otherwise known as BPD. Of course, I could be wrong. And in the comments section, if you have a better theory, share it with all of us. If you found value in this video, then please show it by doing three things. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit that bell, and share this with at least three friends who you really need to learn from this channel. If you didn't like this video, then I thank you for watching this long and for stopping by. I suggest you check out my other videos and find something you do like. Send me your personal relationship stories to share, or if you see an article online you think I should cover, send the link to stories at magicsmonologue.com. This way others can learn from your victories, joys, and defeats as we work to not only support each other, but to help each other become better men. This is the best way to help grow this channel and support me. If you have a moment, stop by my YouTube community tab and vote on my surveys, check out the occasional meme, and subscribe to my locals, Rumber, Twitter, Getter, and Gab. Through this, you're leading by example, encouraging other men to rise higher and ensuring you live a life of passion, purpose, and prosperity. Until next time. Thank you for watching. Before you run off, check out these other videos, then give them a thumbs up, a comment. This tells the algorithm to share my videos with more people and support helps me make more content.